So I was going to make a video about these cinnamon buns and it said put them in the oven and I've burnt it. But I've, I'm trying it and it's actually alright. But I reckon it tastes so much better when it isn't burnt. The flavour is so good. I love cinnamon. When I had an eating disorder, I would have eaten probably worse than this. I've eaten chocolate bars off the floor when I've dropped them and they're dirty because I was so starving for that food at that moment. What sort of things have you done? One time in the middle of a binge, I was eating Nutella out of the jar and I dropped the jar and it broke and there was glass pieces everywhere. And I actually ate around the glass pieces as best I could because I was so starving and I'd started in that binge that I couldn't stop. So I was eating Nutella and glass essentially. I think the term hangry actually came from bodybuilding and it's because bodybuilders manipulate their food. So for example, what I did was not eat carbohydrates and have a high protein, high fat diet. And that would lead me to, after eating, have a kind of fullness, but some parts of me were still craving energy and I needed the carbohydrates. It wasn't so obvious to me, but I would be like shaking, driving really fast, um, hangry, not wanting to talk to people, wanting to go home and binge eat on something sweet because essentially I needed carbohydrates and if I allowed myself to have them throughout the day I wouldn't have had that feeling in the evening because I was so hungry I would make weird food choices like make things really really hot because I would eat so fast that I would, you know, cause stomach upsets and digestive issues. I'd eat way more than I wanted to. So I tried to slow myself down by making my food really hot, but I was binging and starving. And my body, once it got the food, just kept me eating the food as fast as I possibly could. So I ended up burning the roof of my mouth. And I remember going to the dentist once and they wondered what happened to my mouth. So there must be some telltale signs when you go to the dentist as well if you have an eating disorder. There's a lots of healthcare professionals that should really pick up on these things and help the individual. I also did things like my teeth would grind at night. I dreamt about food a lot and I was kind of eating food in my sleep that I wasn't allowing myself to have in the day. There were hashtags like food porn and people would, people i.e. bodybuilders, would look at Instagrammable pictures of food and just mouth dribble over it because you weren't allowing yourself to have the food. So I'd dream about the food, I'd look at it before bed. It was all consuming, looking at food. It seems absolutely ridiculous now, but it makes sense because I couldn't have it and it was a way of staying so strict and disciplined. If I just looked at it, I could imagine I'd eaten it and I didn't have to actually have it. Um, but grinding teeth at night is actually a trauma response. So that is also a telltale sign that body image and food becoming your problem is normally a sign that there's underlying issues, usually trauma that's been undealt with. So I guess the final thing to say here is at the end of my cinnamon bun, I'm leaving some on the plate. It's only a tiny bit, but that bit was a bit burnt and I feel like I'm full. One of the things that happens when you're dieting is that you will finish everything on your plate and the reason being is you've given yourself that allowance of food, whether you've weighed and measured it, whether it fits your macros or whether you've worked out all the calories and you've put it into your plan, you get this sense of I deserve it, it's the right time to eat, I'm allowed this and you give yourself permission to eat what you're allowing yourself to have in that moment but that completely takes away of whether you're even hungry, when you're full, if you need more, would you allow yourself to have more? Probably not. If you get full half the way through and there's some left, 
would you stop eating? Probably not, because you lose contact with how you actually feel your hunger and fullness signals, you become dissociated.